is read this proclamation, and then I'm going to hand it to you, and that man is going to take pictures of us, and then I am going to ask you for your names so we can introduce you, and then when we're done, I'm going to ask you, when we're all done, I'm going to ask you to go around there and shake hands with all of those people so they can participate. So let me begin with the proclamation. Whereas in 1926, Dr. Carter Woodson, a Harvard scholar, established the Observation of American History Month with the desire to reveal the contributions, achievement, and involvement of African American people in the development of our American democracy. And whereas we must acknowledge and pay tribute to the generations of our citizens who struggled with adversity, risked their life for justice, fought a fight that at times seemed impossible to win, and continued to fight for equality and the American dream. And whereas in 2019, we're marking 400 years since the first documented arrival of Africans in America, highlighting the resilience and contributions of African Americans have had on our country since 1619. 2019 marks the 65th anniversary of Brown versus the Board of Education of Topeka, Kansas, the landmark U.S. Supreme Court case in 1954, which ruled unanimously that racial segregation in public schools was unconstitutional. 2019 marks the 55th anniversary of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which ended segregation in public places and banned employment discrimination on the basis of race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. Whereas the month of February, as a minimum, gives us a chance to honor the many heroes who are unknown and unnamed, who have contributed to, contributed to the struggle for freedom and justice for all. The history of some of us is the history of all of us. And our history is what shapes us as a city, a state, and a nation. And whereas Black History Month encourages all Sunfarians to come together, reflect on our collective past, and reveal its impact on present conditions, since we are the city of Sun Prairie, are thriving towards equality for all of our citizens. And now, therefore, I, Paul Esser, by virtue of the authority vested in me as mayor, on behalf of the city of Sun Prairie, hereby proclaim the month of February as Black History Month. So I'm going to present this certificate to you, proclamation. And if you look at that fellow right there, yep. Get in there. Jay, you want to get in there? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you got a hold of it. There you go. Now, let's have you introduce yourselves to us. Would you do that? Would you tell us your name and what grade you're in school? I am Liam and I'm in seventh grade. Thank you, Liam. My name is Brendan. I'm in third grade. Good. Thank you, Brendan. Well, thank you both for being here and with your dad, Jacob, and your mother is at, at an inclusion event, I believe, this evening, so you're well represented. So now I'd like you to go by and shake hands with all of these people here. Would you do that? We'll start here, Liam. Let me shake your hand, too, and then we'll go right here, beginning with him. And Brendan, would you come, too? And go, just keep going right around. And Jacob, please, come and join me. Thank you very much. Nice to see you.